In this clip, we will automatically create a production order via a sales order. We have already created the bill of material and defined the capacity for all of the relevant components and resources. In order to create the production order via a sales order, we open up the sales order window via the sales accounts receivable module. We then select a customer that would like to order the company laptops. We then add our item number, the quantity of the company laptops required is 10, and the expected delivery date is from a week from now. Under the Logistics tab, we need to ensure that we mark the checkbox procurement document for non-dropship warehouse lines. We can now add the sales order to the system. Adding the sales order automatically opens the procurement confirmation wizard. This wizard is made up of six steps. In the final step, you'll be creating the production order to fulfill the sales order. Let's work through each of these steps. The first step ensures we have selected the correct customer. The second step includes all of the base documents in order to generate the production order. The third step ensures that the target document is a production order based on the sales order that we just created. The fourth step outlines any consolidation options. And the fifth step allows you to preview the results. The final step produces the production order. From here, we can drill down into the production order from this final screen in the wizard. The creation of the production order will place a commitment on the inventory components of the production order. This can be seen by drilling down on any item component and going into the inventory tab under the committed column. You also have the option to create a production order using the MRP and both ways have their advantages and disadvantages. We've now shown you how to automatically create a production order via a sales order.